Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm doing frames today. So, the first one that I started off with was Rosie. Um, doing a canvas frame for that one. This one's going to be an outside frame going along that way, as I think I said in the beginning of the video. So, um, with this one, the backing board... I'm not going to need any backing board on that one, so I'm just going to reuse a piece of cardboard. This one has a nice white background to it, so I think that would work quite well. I am going to um, measure it off camera and cut it off camera and all that kind of jazz. I um, just want to try and see if I can find this spray paint. What do you guys think? It's not exactly that blue, but I think it will make it stand out a bit. So I'm going to go with this baby blue. It actually looks more green, really. Anyway, it says baby blue. So we're going to go with baby blue. Okay, guys. See you soon. Oh, I'll be doing an update showing you guys what the frame looks like and then I'll um, show you guys when I do the spray painting for it. Um, this canvas itself, itself needs a bit of a brush with the toothbrush so before I can stick the varnish on that we need to do a, um, a brush on that one so we'll get to that soon anyway. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye! Hi guys, sorry, I thought I'd just pop back and just um, do the measurement, <laughs> if you want to call that a measurement. Uh, Mumby is cringing because I just wing it. I go, yeah, that looks about right, and then go with that. So, unlike Rosie, this frame is going to be not on the inside like that. I don't know if you guys can see so with Rosie you're working on that kind of measurement but with um, the outside frame I normally put it over there oops well that helps I've got a bit of sticky to work with so that's cool all right so I just eyeball it boom like that all right so I'm just gonna cut that I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. I've cut all four sides. So that's pretty much what it's going to look like. I don't know if I can that. Can't pick that up. Um, I'm going to staple it all together and then, I'm, um, then I can show you guys. Okay, so um, <laughs> again, one thing that I've learned but I did not apply it in this instance and now I am stuck and struggling. Um, it's always good to mark where you're at so uh, it would be good if you go top bottom left right or you know sides um, top bottom something like that because now what I'm finding is I'm because there's such a small discrepancy between the um, top and bottom and the sides I'm struggling to figure out which one's which but if I did what I was supposed to and actually marked it off I wouldn't have this problem. Now the sides are definitely longer, so this is definitely, there we go, that's a side. Okay, that's a side. And let's see. Again. Uh, hopefully you guys learn out of my mistake, that way you don't make that same mistake yourself. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'll go back to fast forwarding. I just wanted to share that tidbit with you guys as a reminder. So again, top, bottom, sides or left, right or whatever way it works for you. But you need to remember to mark them. I normally just do a T. Well, not normally because as you can see, I forgot. But especially in this kind of size, if you're looking at Rosie, that one you can clearly see there's a shorter and a longer side. But this one, because it's so small, it would be advisable to do a T and an S and an L and an R. Okay, I'll carry on. 
Okay. So there we go. Looks a bit off, obviously, because it's not attached, but you get the gist of it. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I spray this, just to give you an update. Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm going to do uh, the first coat of the baby blue onto my little frame. coat we're going to leave that to dry don't want to put too much on it because then it's go all runny and yeah okay we'll be back hi guys so we're back uh with the framing for the little mandala i finished the spray on it on the frame i'm quite happy with it um i must admit there is some work still required in when um, making the frame but I'm happy with this one I'm hoping that um, Lorna will be happy with it as well okay um, I'll be right back I'm just gonna go and get some black duct, duct tape just so that uh, I could do that last bit at the bottom uh, just so it doesn't it's not so stark with the white line at the bottom so I'll be right back Okay, got um, some duct tape. Grab my coffee as well while I was at it. So. Oh no! Just tore it in half. That sucks. Okay. No, you could use washi tape or whatever it is that you want to use. Um, I just happen to have black duct tape. So. Bonus. Okay, so about that. Just bring it over so we don't don't have to deal with um, the sticky bit while we're trying to frame this. Ready. Now, Lorna's gonna know because <laughs> she's part of the channel, one of the subscribers on the channel, so she is going to be aware of um, the mistakes that I make. Make, um, don't uh, judge me too harshly. Okay, so if all goes well, that is what we're looking at. What we want is to line this up with the top. Easier said than done. Okay, right. So let's have a look see. I uh, think we got it. So now we need to pull this quite tight. Make sure that Can you guys see? Now you can't. I, mean, I just need to remember which side is the top, but I guess it doesn't really matter because the that's a side, that's the top. Doesn't really matter. It's much of a muchness, really. Um, just thinking now. We did have wall hanging thingy images. Don't know what I did with those. Let's see. All right. Okay. So we've got got it pretty much set. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to add some more staples to this before we put the backing on it. Okay. So we've got some wire here. Yeah. That will work. So there we are with that little guy. Um. I'm just going to try and see if we can cut this off. So now we're just going to put the backing on this at all as well. Again, we're just first going to give it a 
securing staple at each side. So I need to make sure that this is kind of in the middle because uh, that's where I'm going to be putting the wiring for, um, for the hanging bit. That actually is quite cool because now it's got a little loopy for the wire to go through to sort the inside. Okay, so wire-wise, no, that was not meant to be punny or anything. So, what you want to do is, again, there's nothing wrong with eyeballing. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with eyeballing. So what I do is I take about 5 centimeters on, on the side here. That's going to help me get my twist. So I take it up to about there. And then bring it down to the staple again. And about 5 centimeters again. Um, and then, so then we just, um, I'm going to lift that one ever so slightly just so I can get the wire in. It's, the screwdriver is magnetized so it's picking up the wire. Ever so slightly. There you go. Got a wire through there. That's our 5 centimeters. So, and then you're just going to twist at it. Okay, so we've got that, and then we bring it up to the middle, and put that through, that very handy. A little mistake I made there. What do you guys think? Oop, okay. Yeah. Looks like a top to me. Okay. Uh, right, guys. So, I'm just going to put in the last couple of securing staples. But, uh, there we are. This is my second outside frame. Um, the first one I had was one that my dad and I did when he was here for a visit. Um, so, with each one, I'll get better. But, I'm quite happy with how this one has come out. Hi, guys. Just a final... Um, on the mandala framing that I did. I wasn't too happy with the edges of the framing. So what I did was I added some spare drills um, as a little accent. Um, thanks mom for for the tip because um, we discussed it and we both agreed it needed a little something just to, to finish it off nicely. So uh, I'm going to bring you guys in a bit closer so you can see. I've tried to match up uh, colours that was used in the mandala um, to the jewels that I was using in the little accent. It's just a little something small. I think it just adds that little bit of something to it. Um, I hope Lorna likes it. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it. Please click that subscribe button for more content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.